Alright, what's going on guys? It's Alman. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. So, I finished all my launchers. Um, if you guys didn't know, I posted videos like here and there of my launchers and how I got each and individual one obsidian. Um, honestly, it just takes a while for the launchers just because each one requires you to get 100 you know you have to destroy 100 vehicles slash uh, aerial kill streaks and the thing is you can't really destroy ground streaks as much because at the time ground war um had i think it was boots on the ground war when i was doing these and it just was a hassle because there's no tanks there's nothing like that so i just to wait for round for personal radars uh what else i should i shot down some uavs with the shrella and um uh, I think some Wilsons, because so, on shipment a lot of people use Wilsons, so I see Wilsons, and maybe some sentry guns. But overall, I think uh, I don't want to touch launchers anymore. I don't think I'm gonna go for the calling cards or maybe the maybe the what's it called emblems. But I don't see myself going for the emblems because if you look at the emblems, the calling cards actually really you have to destroy a hundred streaks or vehicles. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Maybe with the Pila because everything's lock on with the Pila and that's not too bad because if it's lock on, I don't have to stress with the Javelin not as much because the Javelin is going to be because it's how long it takes to go in the air and then just shoot down. I don't think I'm going to be running the Javelin anytime soon. And then double kills, I have a double kills done for my RPG. That's just straightforward. But uh when it comes down to emblems, yeah, I don't yeah, I'm not gonna go for these. <laughs> I maybe like uh, let me see if we go to my RPG for example, go to our challenges. Like I have the gold one, I have the platinum one. It's just that some long shots just don't make sense to me. Um, it's just an annoying challenge. Like the double kills with the tracker, that's completely fine. I can understand why. Like if you guys see, I have obsidian on my RPG, but um, long shots are just gonna be a pain with an RPG. I feel like I just have to get lucky sometimes, but eventually i'll finish them because it's gonna happen over time but um if you guys do see let's go to all my launchers uh pila if you guys look at the challenges look uh four out of four obsidian's done uh if we go to our joker if you guys saw the past video um i have an obsidian and then go to the rpg which is the first one i got obsidian uh, if we can scroll through it i have an obsidian this one is the only different one because you have to get kills with an rpg you have to kill five enemies 150 times that's not bad because you can just do it on shipment that's when the rpg spam like started right when obsidian came out people were just spamming rpgs like insane um not as much now i feel like a lot of people just want to finish the challenges but when it comes down to finishing obsidian um just takes a while because the last one this well the main purpose of this view is for the shrella because i already did a video on the joker the pila and the rpg but for the shrella i think this one has to be one of the hardest close to the javelin because the javelin you have to shoot up and at least it's lock on you know what i mean so you know so if you do lock onto something you don't have to worry about it you can continue shooting people killing people any of that but with the shrella you have to take time and aim ahead with and just shoot uavs down um shoot down personal radars overall i feel like this was the most annoying one i know like it can i i can argue between this and the joker because the thing is with the joker you can shoot all the way up in the sky and um the thing is you don't have to worry about it but the thing is someone with the pila can just uh, shoot it down before you or someone with an rpg you never know and the thing is for when you're shooting down vtols um helis uh what's the other one support helos with lock-ons you have to get rid of their flares so you waste a shot just to get rid of flares and you have to get another shot done just to even do one bit of damage and things you still have to shoot it like another two times with another javelin or something like that within that time frame so it gets annoying but at least the, for the javelin that's why it's annoying but when it comes down to the strella you just gotta aim higher because it has bullet it has like not bullet drop but obviously it has bullet drop but you guys obviously there's a bullet in our rocket launcher but um when i mean bullet drop like it curves down and it's not a straight shot like how the rbg is the rbg is a little bit wonky like sometimes it moves a little bit to the left right up down but with the strella um not the, is this, yeah with the strella it just takes a little bit longer because i have to aim a bit high, way i think a lot of it i have to aim a little bit higher than i'm usually supposed to because usually with like a uav or something you just be straight on but with the strella 
um, it's a little bit of a bullet drop and it's just really annoying but got obsidian on it um, yeah I'm not touching the launchers for a while I don't care if they had another camo like some like how World War 2 did it with like gold leopard and like all that bullshit I'm not I'm not I'm not touching the launchers ever again um, I think I'll probably finish the RPG for like the emblems but I'll be surprised if I even go for the emblems for the other launchers but I mean emblems or um, calling cards just because how stressful it is um, but yeah that's gonna be it for the video guys pretty short video I don't want to make it too long but got it done um, if you guys want me to go for the calling cards the emblems let me know in the comments but I don't see myself going for them just because it's a hassle you have to go through so for the people who actually have done that I applaud you so much because it's it's annoying like just looking up in the sky like half the match sometimes like I see people in ground war just looking up in the sky in the back of the map just waiting for streaks to be called in with their spotter perk and it's just like bro in the end is it really worth it I don't think so I really don't think so because you're not going to see me running around with Estrella uh, or Pila or Joker just on hardcore or just in core I don't there's no reason to when I can just run an RPG so maybe like there might be a few times like around the joker like on promenade that's because a lot of people group up and that's the only time i see myself my using that but i'd rather get kills with my gun or whatever instead but yeah that's gonna be it for the video guys hope you guys enjoyed me talking about obsidian on all my launchers and i got it finished on this strella it's a hassle but i mean if you tips and tricks i can honestly the best tip and trick i can honestly give you just sit in ground war if you're gonna be doing like other launchers like lock on launchers but if you're gonna be doing like strellas or rpgs hardcore is like your only best bet and you just gotta hope that people are running um you know wheelsons sentry guns um personal radars counters uh you can try shooting down uavs it's just really difficult i have shot on i've shot down a lot of uavs with the strella honestly it's better with the strella than the rpg but um hardcore is your best bet and possibly on shipment because shipment a lot of people call and stuff and yeah that's like your only best bet but good luck with that if you're gonna be going for these and yeah it just took time it just honestly don't you can't rush this you really can't the only thing you could probably rush is the strel or i mean the pila just because it's lock on it's straight fire and everything it's so easy that's the only one that you can really rush but everything else oh and the rpg so the only thing that's gonna really take long is a joker and the strella but yeah, that's, it's just a hassle. That's a bit, uh, honestly, hardcore and crown war is like your best bet. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like on it. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you think of the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully, you can reach 320 subs by the end of the month or um, the first week of August. That's just my goal. But hopefully, we can reach that. I'm pretty sure we're pretty close. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.